Hey friends, Patrick here and today's the time for a little beginner C-sharp tutorial because lots of you ask me about C-sharp and in particular beginner tutorials about C-sharp. So here now I would like to start with the Ternary operator and uh, this is just a trick, let's say, that I like to use very, very often and that something that you would see a lot, I guess, in production code. So here I have a really simple example. Let's say we are in a game and we have a character and this character can have a speed boost as a power up, for instance. So if the character has that speed boost, then we would set the, the actual speed then to 10, so the boosted speed. And otherwise, if we do not have a speed boost, then we would just use the normal speed, which is five in that case. Very interesting, right? So now, what you would maybe use or do when you do not know the ternary operator, then you would say, okay, I have the current speed here, then I, even, I, then I use an if statement here. So if the user has the speed boost, then the current speed is boosted speed, otherwise normal speed. And when we run this, of course, we see in the terminal here that the character's current speed is five. And if I turn that to true, then the result is 10 like that all right but now you see that couple of couple of lines right so we can improve that you could for instance use a method here as well which is in essence doing the same thing or you just remove everything and just say we put this in only one line and what you can do here is you can just say well the current speed is if the user has the speed boost and you can see that IntelliCode is already suggesting the correct code here. So let's just use it. If the user has the speed boost, which is declared with a question mark here. So this is just asking if has speed boost is true, then we want to use this statement here. Otherwise we want to use that thing. And this does not have to be just an integer. This can be anything in essence, even you can even call a method there, for instance, that returns the result that you want to use and that matches the uh, return type here or the type in general here. So we need an integer, of course, so I could not return something uh, now like that here, turn this into a string, right? So this would not work because we cannot, implicit, we cannot implicitly convert the type string into integer. So this is not happening here. But now if you just run this again, then we see has speed boost is true. So now the current speed is 10. And to show you another example, I hit something here. So maybe we can just remove that. We work with integers, but here now let's just work with strings. And here we just ask, what about the weather? When it's sunny, then we say, just go cycling. Otherwise we want to code a new project. What happens if we run this? then it says today's activity is go cycling great. And here now, when we now say it's rainy, for instance, and run this again, it says code a new project, great. And I told you that you can even run methods here. So let's just say go cycling. In this case, again, it is sunny. And now the warning here is gone because we are actually calling the go cycling method. So this just a teeny tiny C sharp tutorial. Please tell me in the comments if you like this new format. Do you want to see more of that? Because there's a lot we can cover in C sharp teeny tiny things. Of course, beginner stuff and also advanced stuff, new features of C sharp 12, for instance. If you want to see more, please tell me that in the comments. And in that case, I'll do my best to produce more of these videos. Of course, the least thing you can do is hitting the like button. Thank you very much for that. Maybe even subscribing. This would be amazing. So thank you very much for supporting me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Take care.